Hey everyone, my name is Dora Me Silva and I'm a fifth grade teacher here at Greenleaf Elementary. Our topic for this week, Tech Tip Tuesday, is creating individual student documents on Google Classroom. To create an assignment using individual student documents and letting Google Classroom do that all for you, what you need to do is click Create, Assignment, and then you're going to find that Google slide or that Google document that you'd want for Google Classroom to make individual copies for your students. Once you're in the create this assignment, I want you to go in your drive, click on drive and find the Google assignment that you want to create an individual copy for each of your students. Once you have found that Google slide or Google document, you are going to notice this tab right here. It says students can view file. You're going to click on that and you'll notice that there's more options. Student can edit file, make a copy for each student. When they have the view option, students cannot access that document and create their own changes. Students can edit file. They can edit it, but that'll be on your master copy. When you make a copy for each student, it's going to automatically create a copy inside of that student's drive, but link it into Google Classroom for you to see later on and grade it on your own. This assignment is titled The Marathon, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's set in the right classroom for all students. Now that it's assigned to my students, on my teacher side, I'll be able to go to grades, and I'll see my students here. You see me twice there because I'm using my personal email for y'all to see how it would look like. I can click on that assignment and right here on the right hand side it'll show you the two different copies. I know it says my uh, my name twice and it might be a bit, a bit confusing but these are two different copies for it. This is what it would look like when you would click on the individual student assignment. I'm gonna click on this first one right here. This area right here is going to be where your students are working at in Google Slides. I can see where they were at if they were currently on this right here. For example, I have my students, my quote unquote student on this slide. I can see that they're on this page. They've answered this one. Now let's say they got this answer wrong. I can leave a comment and tell them, hey, try this one again. And they would be able to see that in real time. I can add my own private notes and I can go ahead and give them a grade if I want. Let's say I want to give them a 90. They're good and I would return it for them and they would have that grade. And I could go in and do that for each one of my students. This is what the student side would look like. They would have their own copy of the Google slide and they can read it. They can answer the questions by themselves. They can do it however they'd like to do it without interfering with your master copy. Thanks for tuning in. Now you can create student documents in Google Classroom without ruining your master copy in your drive. I hope you meet us back here next week for Tech Tip Tuesday. Bye.